What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but today guys what I want to talk to you all about is COD 2020 which is going to be Call of Duty Black Ops. Now it's going to be a spin-off like I said in my in previous videos that I've done on COD 2020 I've done a good few on them at least three or four anyway so to me that's good few anyway. They will all be uh, in my probably the recommendations part and they'll be on my youtube channel so before i start i just want to say that i live stream weekly on twitch where i stream valorant drops are nearly enabled um i stream rainbow warzone modern warfare's multiplayer minecraft and many many more other games uncharted i'm doing the whole uncharted series and i'm actually on the last game of uncharted uncharted 4 a thieves end the nate and drake kind of part and once i'm done that then i will be going back playing them all again on different difficulty on harder difficulties just to do it for achievements and everything like that i've been really in a mood lately just to get achievements for some reason i don't know why i even download modern warfare remastered and i'm near enough done that game and i've only downloaded it like two days ago and i played it for a few hours here and there on veteran and i nearly have the whole uh, storyline complete and i nearly have all the intel and everything like that as well so let's get into the video guys so about three days ago now treyarch released a trailer for call of duty black ops celebrating 10 years of black ops now this is black ops 1 so i'll play that here for you now so for anyone who hasn't seen it you can watch it right here Wake up. Where am I? The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's start at the beginning. Ah! Your name is Alex Mason. 61, Bay of Pigs. What happened? I have plans for you. Where did Dragovich take you? A labor camp called Vakuda. I've given up hope of ever getting out. Victor Rezna found a way. After your escape, you were assigned to Jason Hudson at the CIA. I think you couldn't trust anyone. Sometimes even yourself. Dragovich's endgame, Nova 6. Mr. Mason, take care of it. You ready to make history? It's not, baby. Reznov, I thought you were dead. That one fights alone, Mason. Dragovich must be stopped. It won't end here, Mason. After your team were killed, you went rogue. My name is Victor Reznov! Victor Reznov's been dead for five years. That was just in your mind. Not so. You've been brainwashed. But Reznov sabotaged you. Dragovich must die. The Nova 6 strike is imminent. Only you can tell us what the codes mean. You failed! Mason! So with this year's COD going to be set in the Cold War slash Vietnam War and it will be a spin-off of the Black Ops game with a crossover of the original Black Ops. So that kind of seems a bit confusing when you think about it but it seems like it'll work as well and it'll be interesting to see said the least. So choose this update to Modern Warfare had at the end of the patch notes this to say. Number station redacted is protocol yellow. Activate redacted system redacted is inbound. Awaiting correct authorization. Now this is actually a teaser for Black Ops that was put into Modern Warfare, of course, for the next COD game. So seemingly it's been confirmed that this is what the kind of redacted parts of this sentence or the whole thing has said and this is it in its full. Number station Ruskala, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, 
is protocol yellow activate sleeper cells system project nova is inbound awaiting correct authorization now this is actually from black ops 1 and this was a kind of a massive thing in the black ops game for rushkla or however you say the name was a ship that was in cuban waters at the time and it's a station for the nova 6 where if a code was put out then the sleeper cells all across america would actually wake up and actually activate so at the end of the video that i played for you celebrating 10 years of black ops we see a bunch of numbers come up because of the numbers mason and of course that's the main team numbers mason what do they mean i still don't know if we know no we do we do know we do know that was a stupid question so some people have been seeing numbers uh, that have come up a good few times and these are actually going to be on screen and these are six two five two zero so for anyone who does not live in america or knows the american way that they just fuck up their dates uh we use dates properly over here in ireland anyway and this is actually 25 6 20 which is the 25th of june 2020 which got people thinking that this could be the reveal of the game however this kind of seems really late because most years it's been around the end of May and of course it could mean something else to do with in-game or it could literally just be nothing at all. It could just be something that was just thrown in there just to throw us off or something. Now some people are calling the game Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War which doesn't actually sound too bad when you think about it because like, Cold War, Cold War era, yada yada, all that kind of jazz. Um, It will... Of course, it does sound really, really good. I, I actually kind of like it. Now, I guess because we all thought it was going to be Call of Duty Vietnam, and seemingly that was kind of just a placeholder for the game, or like a working title, you could say. Now, seemingly, this guy over on Twitter uh, called Okamami, Okami, I think his name is, I'm terrible with names, who leaked the gunfight date when that was going to be released, the Modern Warfare two remastered campaign and of course many many more has actually tweeted out an image which i'll show you now so the reddit of call of duty black ops cold war has actually been taken on reddit and most of the time when the when this happens it's the call of duty mod takes the handles like this and then that kind of means that the game is basically going to be called this now it could be we're not really fully sure yet and if that is going to be the case then it's going to be good to see how much of this game actually is like how good this game is and how much is actually in from the black ops maybe some old uh, scripts that they didn't use maybe some voices that they didn't use characters or even like um just little environments that they didn't use as well maybe i don't know cutscenes never really know because black ops 1 was such a good video game and it was probably i'd say peak call of duty gaming where youtube was basically just dominated like 99.9% .9 of it was just all black ops youtubers and man those days were unreal like black ops 1 you had like the likes of woody's gamer tag uh, Wings of Redemption, X Jaws, T Martin, White Boy Seven Street. White Boy Seven Street extremely, extremely blew up because uh, every every one of his videos was like getting like a million or more, and it was like everyone was like freaking out, going like, "Oh my god, this guy's like, holy shit, this is unreal," and everything like that. I think he also had a made made of a song of Black Ops One, and he did something else with Black Ops One. I think he was like doing real life parts of black ops 1 as well which was pretty cool and funny at the time and that got like millions of views as well and it'll be it'll be fun to see how call of duty black ops or black ops cold war whatever they're actually calling it be because this really needs to be a good game because for most people modern warfare was not a good game pubs wise and competitively competitively all the pros absolutely hate the game it's absolute dog shit spawns and everything skill based matchmaking it's just it ruined the game now i understand what they're doing with the skill based matchmaking but like you don't need it man you really don't need it like 
I want to be going into games that I can get like fucking a load of kills and I don't want to be like oh well look at that just got 12 kills and I died 12 times as well this is fantastic skill based matchmaking is the best man yeah I love it but no that that shit's just bullshit and Modern Warfare isn't good but it isn't bad at the same time and somehow it made over a billion dollars I don't understand why because it's a very slow game and it's more camper friendly so if you want to camp you can it's just the same in warzone if you want to camp you'll just be rewarded for camping you're not rewarded for running around the map trying to get kills or do bounties and everything like that and it's kind of sad but yeah that's my kind of little part of this rant done because i don't want to go any further so this is the end of the video guys if you did like it please hit the like button right beside the like button there should be a subscribe button beside that there should be a bell a notification bell that you can click to stay up to date whenever i upload or when i go live on the channel on this channel which is rare speaking of live streams i live stream weekly link to that will be down in the description below on twitch once you're there you can hit the follow button you can also hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live there where i play uncharted minecraft rainbow call of duty warzone uh, and apex valorant and many many more but yeah i also have a twitter link down in the description below as well where i manually update whenever i upload a video to my youtube channel or whenever i go live on my youtube channel or even when i go live on my twitch channel and yeah that is it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace